What's going on coders and welcome to episode one of our HTML service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about how to serve your HTML to your users. So in order to do that you need to create an object called an HTML output. And there's two top methods to do this. There are create HTML output and create HTML output from file. So let's jump into the code and put these two methods to work. In our last episode when we deployed our web app, really what we could do was we could deploy that with using only three lines of code, right? So we had this web app right here and everything displayed correctly as we wanted it to. And it only took three lines of code and our return type was something called an HTML output. So again, we needed that to be the case. We couldn't just return our HTML in and of itself because that wouldn't work. And to display that, let me just comment that out. I'll save that one. And then I'll go back into this function right here, or this file right here, and I'll say return. And we're just going to return a string of HTML. So again, this is just to showcase that this alone will not work. We need to have it in a um, HTML output object. So if we hit save now and we hit uh, refresh the page, we'll see that the script did complete, so there are no errors but the return value was not a supported return type. And that is because it won't just take HTML in and of itself. It needs to be in an HTML output object. All right, so to do that then, all we need to do is say return. We need to access the HTML service uh, object parent class. And if we hit the period button, if we get this list of methods, then we're doing it all correctly. I just wanna point out, this sometimes trips me up, uh, HTML is capital H and then lowercase tml. So that is not always the case when you're writing classes with HTML. Sometimes they capitalize everything, but in App Script, your HTML service, again, it's capital H, capital S, and then all of the other letters are lowercase. All right, so we need to create an HTML output. So this is the easiest one right here. It is just create HTML output, and then there are no uh, parameters. There's no optional arguments. And that will just create an, a blank HTML output. So if we just try this right here, and we hit save, and we hit refresh, we can see that we do have an HTML output, but there is com nothing, There's it's completely blank, and that is it. And we can add stuff, we can say something like set content, and that will set it that way. However, the, the, uh, the way that I use it more often, the way that I see it used more often, is instead of just creating an empty HTML output, they'll usually create an HTML output and then put the HTML within the argument. You can also put a blob in there as well. So if you have something say on Google Drive, you can convert that into a blob and then it will create that HTML output based on that blob. However, usually you just do it this way. So you can create your HTML output and then you can just insert your HTML right in here. So again, let's try that thing where we did the hello world surrounded by H1 tags. So we'll say hello world, and then we'll close off the h1 tag. And if we hit save, now this is going to return us our content. So here it is, hello world. So again, this, this works because now this is surrounded or this is converted into an HTML output object. And that is exactly what App Script needs when it runs this function do get, and then it returns, it needs to return an HTML output I guess it could also return a, a uh, content service, but uh, for, HTML, for HTML, you need to have a HTML output. All right, so there it is. All right, so this works great if you just have like very simple HTML. However, uh, if you have an HTML in a file, which is most likely what you'll be doing, uh, this is not going to work so well because you're gonna, you don't really want to put all of your HTML within a single line. It's just gonna get incredibly messy if you have a lot of HTML. So usually what you'll do is you put all your HTML in a file and then you can just take this HTML and then create that HTML output and then return that HTML that way. All right, so the way to do that is you can say HTML service again, but then you have to say create output, HTML output from file right here. So you'll use this method and if you hit that option, now you need a file name. So the file name for this one is index. It's okay, you don't need to add the .html at the end. App Script will infer that. So all you need to say is index. 
and then now it will render, it'll, at least it'll send all of this HTML, HTML and then your browser will render this HTML because of this function right here, HTML output from file. All right, so if we save that now and we refresh the page, we can see now that our file is being rendered on our web app. So that is pretty darn cool. So now we can write all the HTML we want to in this file. We don't need to worry about uh, taking up so much space within just a single string. Um, and that is going to provide a lot of help in the future. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one and learned a little bit more about how to produce your HTML output and have that rendered on your browser in your web app. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next one.